All right, all right, all right, Capricorn, what is going on, my dears? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpio, Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July 2021. We're here to have some fun. The party has just begun. I hope you guys missed me because I for sure missed you. I want to give a big shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one who has come through. Like, share, subscribe, and click this video. Make sure that y'all hit that thumbs up button. Uh, this video is resonating. If you just want to send some love and support to me and my page, y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up button. Um, if there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading with me, only thing you need to do is click the description box of this video or click the about tab on my YouTube page and send me a message on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, shoot me an email at scorpionrats at gmail.com and I'll help get you all on the schedule and we just make it do what it do. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I want to give uh, a big shout out to everybody that's been booking and uh, supporting me throughout my break because we have eight brand new decks here. Um, we actually ended up purchasing more than eight decks um you guys really really been supporting me big time i just want to give out a big big love to everyone that i've been in contact with uh while i've been on my break because we got some amazing new cards and we about to jump into this energy but of course you already know capricorn we always give love and praises and acknowledgement and flowers to father god before we get into anything and asking for any advice and guidance over what's going on in our life so if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me let's go ahead and get into this prayer father god thank you so much for bringing us here for the side of capricorn we thank you so much for just showing us what's going on in our life just helping us to learn how to tap into our intuition a little bit more and just to move and declutter and get all of the stagnation out of our way, out of our path. Um, I feel like there's just been like little debris that's just been tripping us up and just slowing us down because we ain't had a clear pathway. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling the need to like declutter and to just clean and to just purge and just like open windows with the smell of bleach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know why I'm just feeling like a clean bathroom, like a clean everything i feel like someone is just like going through like some deep cleansing for some reason like someone just woke up and just felt like they wanted to clean everything and they just wanted to smell bleach i don't i don't know like i don't know is it my aunt is like that you guys my aunt is like that she's just like my house isn't clean unless i come in here and i know that this whole house has been wiped down with some bleach and water and just like serious i mean serious cleaning so i don't know like you guys might be just doing a deep scrub here of a few things in your life so amen to that you know what they say cleanliness is the next thing to godliness hello how are you doing so father god please give us the guidance that we need to receive and whatever needs to get that deep cleansing that deep scrub you know you want to scrub the system remove some things to make some clear space father god show us in what areas in our life we need to do that in uh jesus name we pray and every day amen and amen hello let's go ahead and ring the bell on that okay i don't know what the heck y'all about to scrub the shit out of something you about to scrub your hard drive or something <laughs> i don't know y'all about to scrub something so let's see we got our crystal grid energies here let's see okay so what we got we got stalactite for you it says amplify cleanse i just said something about cleanse amplify cleanse and open double trouble stalactite has a unique optical quality when you are looking through the stone it appears doubled. Selactite can amplify energy for higher awareness, healing, and it pairs with other crystals and talk and taking on their attributes to increase their metaphysical abilities. A powerful dissolver, selactite transforms negative energy for release and renewal. It also aligns the chakras, cleansing the aura of toxicity and renewing energy flow i just said something about y'all it was a whole bunch of debris and it's like you didn't have a clear path it says selectite reminds you that there is always a new beginning 
You just have to decide when it starts. This is the sign of Cancer and the planet of Venus. I yo, that is trippy. That is trippy, y'all. Trippy. It's like this, this, it, it needed to be clean. It's like, how can you, how can something run through the system real good if it's like shit all over the place? And God don't bless no mess. That's, uh, hello, God don't bless no mess. You gotta clean that up. Hello, how are you doing? Okay, now, all right, hold on, you guys. Let me take a quick sip. All right. See, God don't bless no mess. Let's see what we got going on. Give me two cards for my Capricorn. Amplify, cleanse, open. And I said the cleaning house and open windows. Come on. Give me guidance here. Give me two cards for Capricorn, please. Would you lie? You got the Six of Pentacles. I know that's right. Come on, help is on the way. Come on, help is on the way. Okay, let us pray. Help is on the way. Come on and receive some good assistance. All right? I don't know if you guys are about to get a financial push. I don't... It's like... You got... And you know what? And what is this about to say? And the Eight of Pentacles. And you about to get a new job and financial security. Listen, I, listen. Capricorn. 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 I feel like something is coming. Uh, hold on. I got to get away. I want to fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I wanted to sing that. But I want to get away. I want to fly away. Yeah, yeah. I'm so serious. This is to me, it's like. So imagine you woke up one morning, you just got the urge, you just felt like, I need everything to be sparkling, crystal clear, because God's got some blessings, and God ain't blessing no mess, and when he come through knocking on doors, I want my door to be open, and I want it to, I want it to smell sparkling clean. I want, I want him to know that I'm ready and prepared. I feel like y'all woke up, y'all cleansed your house, you cleansed your environment, you did a deep scrub, a deep scrub, and then all of a sudden, you woke up, there was a whole bunch of money in your bank account, it could have been like, for maybe assistance program or something that you were filing or that you would like the, the the six of pentacles is right off of the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles is someone being in this place of lack, unemployment, um, almost about to be homeless. Like that's homelessness, sickness, just like you or, or like not having the ability or the aptitude to pass a test or to do something. The six of pentacles is when you're receiving assistance you're receiving help this is someone that is generously giving you something and they, they're not expecting you to give it to them back they want to help you this is the card I had, like help is on the way um i feel like you guys cleaned up some shit and then you woke up and you just fell into like financial security and financial blessings like one day one day you were hurt and you didn't know how you were going to make ends meet, how you were going to pay your bills. You ain't have no job. You ain't have no savings. You ain't have nothing. And then you woke up to clean your house and you woke up the next day to money, financial assistance. Like you had enough money to pay your bills and to put some money in the savings. And you fucked around and got a job too later on that week. So I, I, I feel like. This is about to be an amazing rest of the month for some Capricorns. Like, one minute your life was upside down, and then the next minute it's like you have more money than you even could think of. I don't know. It's just like 
whatever it is it's enough money for you to pay your bills and to put some shit away and not to worry and on top of that you got a job now so you don't even have to touch that money and your job is enough to pay your bills comfortably it's just like your whole life changed just like that just because you woke up one day and you decided to clean <laughs> like you woke up one day and was like i want a clean environment i want a clean apartment I want to feel because it's something about when you clean everything when you declutter you can breathe better it's like more flowing it's just like the air. you know what I'm saying it's things come to you quicker things come to you easier and it's like it's like someone was handing out blessing they were handing out resources and they took care of you first and then it's like God took care of the rest but and what is this? Mountains. So the mountains represents like obstacles. It represents blockages and things like that. But you got to understand that some obstacles come in your life to, to give you the gift of strength. Of tenacity. Of durability. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like because you experience an obstacle before at this level... Even though this one is bigger, it don't scare you because you already learned how to climb mountains. So it's like you're already fit. You already have that aptitude. You have that energy that amplifies the, the stalactite. It's like you already are amplified from the first obstacle that you finished. So it's like you already jumping into this shit with a head start because... You start from this top of the mountain. So it's not like you're having a start from You already halfway there. Because you already have the ability to at least to get to this point. So now you're about to just keep trucking. And if you can see these mountains, these are lush green mountains. Anytime you see greenery, because it could have been rocky mountains. You know, this is lush greenery. This means things are growing. Things are flowing. And a lot of opportunities that are presented here at the top of this mountain, you got to get to the top of the mountain to even know what is even being offered at that point. Do you understand what I'm saying? There are a lot of people, they see other people in, in, in certain fortunate positions, right? And they be like, well, why am I possessed? Uh, 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 why am I not in that position? Why I don't get those type of blessings? Why I didn't get those type of opportunities? Because you wasn't, you didn't have the ability to climb that mountain to get up there to see what was being offered at that point. Do you understand what I'm saying? God put you through certain things not because he want to make things harder for you. It's because he wants to develop skill, character, okay, KSAs, uh, knowledge, skills, and ability. Do you understand? What is this here? You got the ship. So, with the ship, especially with that ten of spades, that ten of spades, that about the ship with the ten of spades, it's like you could have already suffered some type of like major tragedy, a loss, or whatever. And it's like I've already processed that and I picked myself up and I'm moving forward. So, there is something in your life that, again, with this mountain, you've overcome some obstacles, you went through an obstacle. And then again, this could have had something to do with work because this is the eight of clubs. The eight of clubs represents what you do with your day to day, how you feed yourself, how you take care of yourself. So this definitely has something to do with work. So you could have experienced some type of tragedy, some type of financial loss or something like that. As you know, a lot of us lost our employment. But at the end of the day, whatever it was that you went through, it strengthened you. And there was some stagnation. There was some stagnation going on in regards to financial and career. Because this is big finance and career. But once you decided to get up and dust yourself off and clean yourself up. It's like you look good. A lot of things are flowing through you freer. And again, I see movement here. I feel that you are able to defeat this challenge. And things are moving into your life swiftly because you're not focusing on what you don't have you're focusing on what you do have currently and what is being offered to you at this level not at this level okay i'm reloading y'all i like that and i like that the 
work thing is showing up twice because with the mountain right here with this eight of clubs and then the eight of pentacles too this is definitely showing like there's some type of something there was some type of blockage in work and financial security things are moving upwards things are moving upwards now so shout out to you guys because i feel like you guys are about to get some a lump sum of money and the job all at the same time I don't even feel like you're going to have to touch that lump sum of money other than paying your bills. Take care of your responsibilities because they're giving you that help to. It's like you're being given a nest egg. And then again, like, can I go right here real quick to this eight of pentacles? Do you see how she is? It seems like she's honoring her trade or something like that. It's like she is paying respect or paying homage to some type of it's something that she had in the past or something. You see how the pinnacle is growing? You see how the pinnacle is growing? So it's like I want to say Capricorn like you've had some financial success and security in the past and I feel like you respect your money now like you I don't feel like you spend it frivolously I don't even even what you do in your, your day to day I, you respect it now I don't I don't feel like you would do anything frivolous frivolously to jeopardize it um the eight of pentacles and the eight of clubs is all about reputation you want your reputation to grow and you want it to be positive. You want the quality of, and the standard of your work to represent you. If you putting out some shoddy work, some half-assed bullshit, you just doing something to hurry up and get it done. It's not necessarily done correct or with good quality. That don't represent you. You have a certain value, you have a certain respect for what you do, you have a certain value, you have a certain respect for your name, and you have a certain value and respect for your money. You want to see it grow. So I feel like you guys could be paying some level of respect to the money that you did have and just saying, you know, it's okay because I know how to make one investment of my time and watch it grow. So things that, and then with that number three right there, yes, most definitely, there's going to be a lot of creative uh, sparks and, and things coming to you. The three of wands and the reverse. Like you could, you guys could just be tired and just impatiently waiting for, um, and you see these ships to come in. What just came down here on the floor? I really don't want to take it because it came on the floor. Yeah, this definitely has something to do with work. Okay, so you got the Princess of Cups and then you got the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. So this most definitely has something to do with a work situation. You feel like you're talented. You got a lot of charisma. Um, whoever this is can be extremely talkative, though. I feel like you're extremely talkative and you like sharing your ideas with people. The the Princess of Cups is someone that I, uh, it's like she wears her heart on her shoulder. And I want to say because she is so helpful and she's so kind and loving, people kind of see her as naive and green. So you might want to watch that. You understand? You might want to watch that because a princess is still someone that's a little inexperienced like she's not to the queen level so she's like not at a manager's level so it's something about I feel like the experience that you have it should be looked at on a manager on a management level but it's like somehow you don't come off you don't your represent your representative isn't that of such it's more of a princess level, not a queen's level. I don't know why I feel like I needed to tell someone that. If you are like applying for certain jobs that are a little bit outside of your pay range or something. Um, that 
they're saying something about being too friendly, too giddy, and again, too talkative. It's something about that. It's, okay, so with the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like your, quali your qualifications don't match your appearance. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I don't know why people are judging you in that way, but it's like, what you're saying on paper versus your, the represent the representative that we see that comes to the interview don't match. And that's why that might have been the issue. So if you're saying that you can do this, I need to see a queen, someone that carries herself on a manager on a managerial level, not a cubicle worker that's like to sit around and gossip a chat and this is and that because a queen is very um I want to say regal uh very um how do I say it but she's not a person of many words the words that she does say are very powerful brief powerful and to the point not all of this, yeah, because you know, last weekend I did this and that. Oh no, yeah, it's something about that that um, I feel like people need to work on. You need your representative to match your qualifications because you see this list. It's like a long skill of qualifications, a long skill of qualifications of what they need and what is required for this job. And I feel like at a princess level, even though emotionally, like you probably we would be a good fit. I feel like for a receptionist, um, not for a manager. Cause it's still it's like still someone is kind of young and inexperienced and does and I don't feel like they would necessarily know what to do um in like a crisis. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's still something about someone being a little wet behind the ear and still not having enough experience uh, that they need and that's required for the position. But in other ways, they could see you being a good uh, person or whatever. But with this card over here, your money is growing. I feel like your business, like where you are in regards to business and career things are going in the right direction i feel like that right there was just um someone needed to hear that because it's about your interviewing uh it's about your interviewing mannerisms and it's about what they're looking for and the approach of the person when they when when, when you're meeting a new entity and you're trying to sell yourself to them you don't know them they're not your friends do you understand so don't be so much of on a personal level be more business minded do you understand if you want the job and if you want them to approve you for the position you have to make sure that you're coming across in the exact manner in the and you're giving them the representative that they're looking for based off of the qualifications that's on their application really read the application do you see what i'm saying really read the application and give them what they're looking for you know what i'm saying you can be beautiful and, and, and a nice person and all of that but you need to be able to meet the qualifications that's on the application it doesn't matter how nice you are you understand? So someone someone needed to hear that. Okay. So you got work daily towards improving your mental health. That's what this says. Work daily on improving your mental health. They say this. Okay. I just heard someone needs um to be in the sunshine more often. Um, vitamin D is very important. A lot of people don't understand how important um, sunlight is to not only the growth of plants, and sunlight, positive energy, water, 
Because what is this? What is being done right here? Outside sunlight, positive energy. She's giving the plant energy. And I'm pretty sure water around here somewhere. You know, ain't nothing growing without no water. But all of that is important. You need to drink enough water. You need to make sure that you're eating right. That you're getting enough vitamin D, enough sunlight. Okay? And that you're around positive energy if you want to promote healthiness and growth. Work daily towards improving your mental health. And again, I want to encourage you guys to make sure that you're eating right and drinking enough water. And watch your sodium. God, why? Okay, why am I having to scream at that? <laughs> scream that to somebody. Watch your sodium. Jesus. Like, that was literally being screamed to me. Watch your sodium. Oh, my gracious. Okay. Capricorn, watch your damn sodium. Let me see. Reparenting yourself. Look, again, having to relearn how to take care of yourself. No shade. But Shay, a lot of the ways that our parents taught us to do things weren't necessarily it, honey. It wasn't necessarily it. Sometimes our kids, with kids, they're self trying to learn how to be parents. So, and it's, it's no disrespect to them, but we just have to reteach ourselves how to better take care of ourselves. Give me more guidance and love. Give me one more card. All right. What is this? Manifestation. So, again, as you are relearning how to better take care of yourself, having a different quality of life, and shout out to my Capricorns, it seems like the money is running through. You just had to change your approach to how you were, I want to say, interviewing. But with this, tip, yeah, because, again, I'm feeling like, and not, not to jump back over to the general energy again, but, again, it's like, Receiving some level of failure, like constant failure with that Ten of Pentacles. Like you could have, I mean, with the Ten of Spades, you could have like interviewed like 10 different times. You understand? And it's like still you keep pressing on and it's like you're not accepting failure. You just keep moving. You just keep pressing ahead or whatever. But this time I feel like you really understand and you are learning what is causing the delay. Because with this Three of Pentacles in the reverse, you should have left. You should have been... In the new beginning part of your life, of your new life, you should have been there a while ago. You just like, what the fuck is the hold up? What is the hold up? What is like? And it's like you could have. It's something. And it also, it's like you. I want to say let several opportunities pass you by for some reason, but it was. I want to say it wasn't the right opportunity for you, or like. Certain things came by again. I'm gonna say like you could have interviewed with so many different people, but that it's like they keep passing you by or something. Cause it's like a, you have to change up your interview skills. And again with this Princess of Cups, I want to say like this is went wishes. This is like accepting an offer, entertaining an offer. So there is an offer that is being entertained after I want to say like two or three rejections. You know. But whatever it is, it's fitting to you. You're manifesting it. But you had to relearn how to present yourself. And with the right way of how to present yourself, maybe the way that you learned how to do things and to manifest and finesse situations, that wasn't, oh, maybe that might have worked in the 90s. This is 2021, okay, baby? You can't do that no more. So it's like having to learn a new way and to build and Manifest your desires based off of what you know works for you now. So nothing else passes you by. So let's see what we got here. Give me guidance for my Capricorns. Okay. It says, let us be the love we seek. Let us be the change we wish to see. Let us give freely to one another without condition." For it is in giving that we receive. I like that. So again, I feel like it's just like I said. The representative that you're putting out to other people. Make sure that you want that representative. Would you hire that person? 
Would you want to be in a relationship with that person that you, how you represent them? Let us be the love that we seek. Let us be the change that we wish to see. Let us give freely to one another without condition. For it's giving that we receive. Make sure that if you were the employer that you would want to hire you. That you would want to be in a relationship with you. That you would want to be in a best. Uh, that you would want to be in a friendship with you. Healthy mind, body, and soul. Alright. So let's get the last little message. And then we're going to wrap this up for my Capricorns. This has been a very good reading you guys. Especially financially for you guys. Because there's a job coming. And there's about to be a lump sum of money. Uh... It's, I want to say for you guys, it's almost going to be too much at one time, <laughs> but it it came slow, like, it came slow, like, regardless if you realize it or not, like, you guys have any interviews of y'all got, have y'all gone on, it's just like, when it clicks and when you get it, and you figure out how to make it work, it works. Do you understand? And it has something to do with you. Y'all getting up and cleaning y'all damn house. Like, it's something that had to do with y'all getting up and cleaning up something. Y'all deep scrubbing something. Okay, what do we get here? We got the seven of swords. I know that's right. You, you want to look. You want to figure out how to get the fuck out of this situation. I'm not playing with y'all. And then you got the four of wands. I fuck with that. Now, even... Now, why you looking all crazy now? Now, why you looking all crazy? Why is you looking all crazy? Why is you looking crazy? <laughs> Y'all, I cannot deal with this seven of swords. I cannot do. You see this fox? Do you see how crazy he looking? Do you see him? He is a slick little snicker. Now, the seven of swords is someone getting away with something and not getting caught. It's like you not getting caught. You know what I'm saying? It's like. You smarter than the average bear. You know how to out trick the trickster. Do you understand? So, again, that's even like me telling you how to change your representatives. That ain't the real you. Do you know Capricorn? Like, we know the real Capricorn. But that's not what the fuck they want when you come to these interviews. They want the representatives that they want. So if you got to fuck with their mind a little bit and tell them what they need to get. This is, listen, a little, listen. Fair, fair exchange ain't no robbery. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to fuck me down the line somewhere. Y'all, I'm pretty sure there's something in this job application that you're telling me that I'm going to get that I ain't going to get just because you want someone to fill the position. Fair exchange ain't no goddamn robbery. No, I'm not this person that you that I'm presenting to you. No, I am not. Shit, I just got me some fucking, I just, I just got some government assistance that I'm still eating government cheese, but you don't need to know that. I'm telling people. <laughs> like, do you understand? Like, the fox is a skilled person. Skilled. Like, you know what to say. You know what they're looking for, and you know how to give people what they want. You didn't ask for it. Me, you asked for what the fuck you wanted on this paper. And I'm about to give you what the fuck you want on this paper. So y'all give me this job and we gonna be good. And it's truly it's gonna be a match made in heaven. No, I am not the person that I'm presenting you. But I'm telling you, as long as I get the job, I am going to show you security. There's gonna be comfort. There's gonna be a lot of fun. I feel like you gonna... Sneak your way in the door. And like no one. Like, e like, like let's say. Even in the past. Like say. Again you're coming from. You're someone who just came over obstacles. And just had to get assistance. To get one foot ahead of you. Do you understand what I'm saying? But these people. Would never know that. Because that is not what you present. To them. It's like you've learned how to fix yourself and to let all of the struggles that you went through in the past be the past. And you let your manifestations lead your future. You see this right here, how you in balance? I had to fix myself from the inside out so I could change my representative. So I could get what I want. Okay? 
And that's just on that. Hold on. I just. <laughs> Listen, let us be the love that we seek. So if I have to change, if I have to manipulate, if I have to tweak a little something just to be invited to the party, as long as I get in the party, who gives a fuck? Yeah, I'll be still in a couple. I'll be I'll be the one that be still in the extra potatoes out and be taking a few of them Budweiser's and, and it, yeah, I do. Yeah. But y'all still, we had a good ass motherfucking time. Are y'all really tripping about them Bubba? No. Okay. Now, now I'm, I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all. Don't be in it. Whatever it was that you used to do. They used to get you in trouble. You done eased your way in the door. Okay? Make sure that you lead that old representative wherever the fuck they at. Okay? Now the fox is slick. But when the fox get too carried away with themselves, continuously thinking that they're going to do things and not going to get caught, you can always get caught. Do you understand what I'm saying? But right now, you done slicked your way into an atmosphere where there's a lot of celebratory love, enjoyment, pleasure being had. A lot of good foods, good drinks, good wine. Don't fuck it up. They think you are who you've been representing, who you've been representing yourself as. Continue to make that representative real. And make it better. Make it better. Make it better. That's all I can say. Because I see a lot of joy. A lot of stability. A lot of commitment. And a lot of love here. You know, this is typically the card of marriage. Card of resources. A card of happiness. You know? Partying. Festivities. Enjoyment. So... You snuck your way in there. Make sure that you stay in the in crowd, okay? So listen, Capricorn, this has been your reading. Y'all continue to amplify and clean up your energy so all this good shit can come. And then when you do get your money, make sure you tip your friend, okay? Tip your friends, okay? Tip your friend. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I love y'all. I'm gone. I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>